The position vector of a 3 kilogram mass is given by R of t equals 5 t cubed i hat plus 6 t to the fourth j hat plus 7 t k hat. Question A. What is the force vector at t equal 2 seconds? The velocity vector is the time rate of change of the position vector. We differentiate r to get v. To take the derivative of the position vector, we differentiate each one of its components with respect to time. The i hat component of the position vector is 5t cubed. The time derivative of this is 15t squared. The time derivative of 6t to the fourth is 24t cubed, which is the j component. The time derivative of 7t is 7, which is the k component. The time derivative of the velocity vector gives the acceleration vector. We get 30t i hat plus 72t squared j hat. The force vector, as a function of time, is mass times acceleration. The mass is 3 kilograms times 30t makes 90t i hat and 216t squared j hat. At t equal 2 seconds, the force is 180i plus 864j because 90 times t, which is 2, makes 180. Question B. What angle does the acceleration vector make with the plus x axis at time t? When we write tan theta equals ay over ax, this automatically means that we're finding the angle theta with respect to the positive x-axis. Here we have tan theta equals ay over ax equals 72t squared over 30t equals 72t over 30, which could be reduced, but as long as the calculator's happy, we're happy. At t equals 2 seconds, the acceleration vector is 60i plus 288j meters per second squared. And tan theta equals ay over ax is 288 over 60. So at t equal 2 seconds, theta is 78 degrees. Question C. In this situation, can we use the equation v equals v0 plus at? The answer is no. The equation v equals v0 plus at is valid only for constant acceleration, which is not the case here because the acceleration is changing in time.